Hey guys and girls, Pokerton King here, back with another video. Today we've got History Pack 1 versus Outsiders, another Flesh and Blood opening versus series. I think this is the third or fourth in this. Um, so we'll rotate between the packs. We've got the most recent set, o set uh, release for Flesh and Blood, and then we've got the reprint set. So we'll start with History Pack 1. It's always fun to open History Pack. It's quite hard to find actually now. Um, my LGS has some in stock. I don't know how much they have left, but I know bar that all they have is Tales of Ari Unlimited, um, bar Outsiders of course. So we always try to go for a little bit of history part one. If we can pull something big like a tunic. And we've got a Righteous Cleansing as our Majestic. So we'll keep these. I like the white borders, they're different. Um, we'll keep this here and we'll have the totals above each side, the left and right, and we can see who wins. I haven't opened any outsiders for a little while now, actually. It's a really good set. Um, very excited for Dust Till Dawn. We're gonna have definitely a lot of openings of that on the channel. Not only chasing those serialized cards, but just the absolute beautiful cards in there. We've got a non-foil Crown of Providence reprint, which will be cool. Uh, so we've got a recoil as a rare, sneak attack, and then our foil is a toxic tips, and then the two tokens and the uh, the equipment. So put that there, put the rares there. I don't think any of the rares in this set are worth anything. I like any of the equipment foils, they're just nice. They're not worth anything, but not in these, not in this set anyway. In like the earlier sets, um, some of them are a couple of quid now, but not in this set. And I think unfortunately in that one. So I guess history part one is winning. Uh, so far, but we will have Dust Till Dawn on the channel for sure. Um, I have been selling some on my website and I've all sold out now. Surgeon Strike, I've got an alpha pink foil of that, very nice. Uh, one of the traps, so we've got Boulder Trap as a rare. Um, oh, we only had one rare. Uh, Plunge as our foil, and then Oh, of course, because it's one or two. You don't guarantee two rares. Uh, so plungers are foil. Very nice. Of course, history pack, you don't get foils. Um, there's not too much value to history pack. Um, obviously, any legendary is a nice pull. I think scab skins and Braveforge braces are probably the cheapest ones at about £35, £40. Um, Scar for Scar. Ooh, Blood Sheaf Skeletor. It's a nice one. It is banned, but it's a nice card. Um, I think the foil was about £12, so increase for the war. So the non foil white one is probably worth about a pound. Um, but if it ever gets unbanned. So, so far, Outsiders has been unkind to us. Hopefully we can get a Majestic in this pack. Uh, we've got Wither, Infecting Shot, Blood Rot Trap, Death Touch is a rare, uh, Fletcher Blue Tail, Infect is a foil, unfortunately not. Um, I have the uh, promos of that Death Touch. There is some promos of them. the Extended art foil. So far, we've got two majestics from history packs. I'd say they are default winning, um, but probably not by very much at all. Uh, the value so far is probably around about four pound for the video. And a blue snatch. Unfortunately, not the snatch that we want. So last pack of outsiders. It feels a lot nicer opening these pa uh, paper packs, honestly. When you start opening paper packs, you just get used to it. Um, so I think the odds are 1 in 4 for a Majestic. So hopefully this is the pack. Otherwise, the other packs left in the box are going to be stacked. Uh, back Hill Kit. 
Infecting shot, wither, bleed out, third and touch, wreck havoc. Oh yeah, because that's and foil. Unfortunately, nothing. So uh, yeah, that is the pull from outsiders. Very harsh. We've got two majestics from history pack. So I would say that uh, unless any of the rares from outsiders are worth anything, which last time I checked they were. Uh, I would say History Pack 1 wins. Uh, but thanks all for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe as always. Um, Rave Tavern Cards, my website, online store, is live. We're going to be having a load of singles for Dust Till Dawn. Um, any, anything that I pull from now on, the singles will be put up on the, video, on the actual website. Uh, Patreon link as well in the description. Really appreciate any support. Um, I've got five patrons at the moment. I will be doing exclusive content. At the moment, I do market videos. Uh, market posts even sorry so every week i do a market post i try to do it monday tuesday or wednesday um depending on uh, the timings if there's enough movement in the market sometimes i won't do it every week um, there will be exclusive videos on there and clips as well at some point in the near future um, but for those first 20 people that are a patron on the patreon um, they will be moved to the top tier that will be completely locked and exclusive for them and they'll get the most exclusive content. So when eventually I integrate the Rave Tavern cards with it, um, they'll be the ones to get. For instance, I'll end up giving random promos with boxes that I sell on there. So kind of like what Rudy does. They won't be exclusive to me, unfortunately, because I'm not big enough. But I will give away promos as an incentive for those that have joined the first 20 patrons. So thank you all for watching. Please comment, subscribe as always, and have a great day.